The washing machine always cleans our clothes, but in between we should also definitely clean the washing machine from time to time, because also here some dirt and pollution accumulates. How exactly this works I'll show you in this video, so be sure to watch it to the end. Because you will certainly regularly with your washing machine wash the laundry and there it is quite normal that here also dirt or lime deposits are present in the washing machine over time. And for this we start with the drawer, where we put our detergent. Because over time some dirt naturally accumulates in this. Detergent or washing powder residues stick here and thus ensure that everything gets dirtier and dirtier over time. But not only in the drawer itself, but also the compartment where the drawer is inside. For this we make ourselves the more small mixture ready. Here I have in the first step some water which I put in a bowl and to that I add citric acid. If you don't have citric acid at your house, I'll link it to you below in the video description. Now we mix all of that well and then we start wiping out the inside of this drawer with a rag. Also up here where the nozzles are from which the water comes out. Everything is wiped really well with it. In this way we will also get rid of all the dirt. For the nozzles at the top you can also use an old toothbrush. Dip it into the mixture and then wipe the top with it. You can also clean the drawer itself with the mixture or put it in a dishwasher. If this is then clean again it is simply hung up and we have already taken care of the fact that the drawer is clean. In the next step you should look in the rubber at the front of the door. Because here too some dirt usually accumulates which ends up in this rubber. You can also wipe this out with the citric acid water mixture and of course you can also collect larger parts directly in this way. You can also clean the door of the washing machine with it. Then we should also take care of the lint filter. Most of the time you have such a flap at the bottom of the washing machine. Open it and you will have direct access to the lint filter. You should get a bucket and drain the water from the hose. Otherwise it will come right at you when you open the lint filter. Leave it open until there's no more water flowing because after that we can get ready to turn the lint filter out. But of course since some water still comes out here you should put a towel or rag underneath. I've taken a towel now and I'm making sure that I suppress this as best I can here so that most of the liquid ends up in the towel. Then I slowly twist the lint filter open to left until I can pull it out completely. Here you can already see that some water runs out. This is where all the larger lint or larger parts that went through the washing machine or were in the clothes collect. And you can see that I also have a few pieces in here. You can now clean the lint filter by removing the parts and rinsing everything out under water. Then screw the lint filter back in. So put it in and screw it right side up until it won't go any further. What you should also do regularly of course is a drum cleaning. And this should be done without laundry and preferably at high temperatures. Because that way bacteria as well as lime deposits quite simply dissolve here also. You can use two dishwasher tabs for this. Throw them into the washing machine, close it without laundry and start in a high wash program preferably at 90 degrees celsius. Because only at these high temperatures most bacteria and germs are killed. You then let this run through normally and afterwards your drum is also completely cleaned again. You should clean your washing machine regularly this way every 1-3 months depending on how often you use it. Then you also have longer something from your washing machine and everything is once really nice and clean. I link you now here in the video still another video by which I show you why you should put shaving cream in your toilet. Be sure to watch that video as well. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.